What's up guys, I'm your casual gamer. So in the last video I showed you guys my top 10 picks for the best free to play Switch games. If you missed that video, you can find a link in the description below. Now, in this video, I'm gonna keep the focus on Switch, but I'm gonna tell you my top 10 picks for the best Switch games released so far. Now that's dating back to 2017, up until right now in 2021. Let's get into it. Starting off at number 10, Stardew Valley. A farming simulator that is so simple but somehow so addicting. Hours can pass you by while playing and you won't even notice. This is a laid back role playing game with retro pixel art graphics and plenty of fun activities to do. The game tasks you with turning a messy field into a thriving farm. Stardew Valley has a town with people that you won't forget and whether you're planting crops for a big payday or exploring the mines, it's easy to get completely lost in the 16 bit world in a good way not a bad way also you can enjoy the game with friends and that just adds more fun next up in number nine luigi's mansion three now luigi doesn't get the credit he deserves because his brother gets all the shine but don't sleep on luigi i enjoyed the first game back on gamecube and i enjoyed three as well also, this time around, we got added multiplayer, baby, that allows us to play co-op and competitive, something I really loved and wanted. If you don't know, this game is based around ghost hunting and catching them using a vacuum. Kind of reminds you of Ghostbusters, right? But hey, the formula works. The first game was in a haunted mansion, and this game is in a haunted hotel run by King Boo. Everything was well designed, the game puzzles were good, the best in the mansion series actually, and the boss fights were challenging and the ghost busting is fun. I think most people will really enjoy this game, even if you played the first game and didn't like it. Number 8 Monster Hunter Rise An action role playing game developed and published by Capcom for the Nintendo Switch. Now you may agree with me, you may disagree. But Rise is better than Monster Hunter World. Tell me I'm wrong. And you don't have to have played any of the older games. You just jump in and enjoy Rise. And make sure to invite your friends online because playing with friends makes slaying monsters even better. This game features great weapon and armor designs. The monsters are well detailed and plenty of secrets. Good gameplay and hours of playtime. The graphics, they were not the best. But hey, it looks good for what it is. My number seven is Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now you may have mixed feelings about this game. Some people love it, some people hate it. I will say I was super excited for the release of this game and it wasn't what I expected, but it wasn't bad either. I really liked the open world style wild areas filled with wild Pokemon that provided a somewhat challenge for seasoned trainers. What I didn't like is that the game wasn't as open world as I wanted it to be. There wasn't enough Pokemon and the game was kinda easy. Now with that being said, honestly, I still enjoyed it and that's why it's on my list. Now, I just can't wait till November to get Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. What can I say, I'm a Pokemon fan and that may have influenced my decision about this game being on the list. Maybe just a little. Taking number 6, Splatoon 2. Not changing much from the first game, and that's a good thing, because the first game was great with awesome gameplay. Here in part 2, they added new weapons and abilities, we ended up getting dual pistols, and the ability to perform a powerful ground pound. We also got a solo campaign that was somewhat a pretty good platformer, while the new Salmon Run mode provides a serious co-op challenge for you and up to 3 friends, and I had a lot of fun with that mode. The only bad thing, I would say about the game is that it didn't allow voice chat directly through the switch instead you had to download an app on your phone and that was a pain I'm excited about Splatoon 3 coming soon I just hope this time they have voice chat directly through the system 
Coming in midway at number 5, Animal Crossing New Horizons. This game was the digital escape from the pandemic. I will admit this life simulator game can be addicting, allowing you to craft your own items and rack up rewarding nook miles. You catch bugs, plant trees, interact with your neighbors, find cool clothes and household items for your personal villager. There's always something to work toward in New Horizons. Every moment of this game feels rewarding as you build up to the tropical island of your dreams. Now I wonder if the pandemic would have never happened with this game has gotten as big as it is. Huh, I guess we'll never know. Taking the number four spot is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, a great re-release of an already excellent game, giving you all the downloadable content from the original Wii U game and adding new characters such as Splatoon's Inklings. Also, they added Battle Mode, a mode that everyone wanted to come to the game. So everything was in the game from the start and the game was funner than ever. In fact, the game is still one of the best selling games on Switch to date, even though it was released in 2017, the same year as the Switch. I think the numbers speak for itself and shows how much people love Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Classic. Number 3, Super Smash Bros Ultimate. This game was already great on Wii U and just got better when re-released on Switch. Coming with a massive 74 character roster including some great new characters such as once again Splatoon Inklings. Also we got 103 stages from video game history. Only problem I had with this game is choosing a character and a stage to play on. And that's a pretty good problem to have. You can enjoy 8 player fights, intense one on one contests, there's even an RPG like spirits mode for the solo players to try out. So if you're looking for a great switch party game or a competitive brawler, Super Smash Bros Ultimate is definitely the game to play. Taking the number 2 spot is Super Mario Odyssey. Now there hasn't been a Mario game I haven't enjoyed, but I like 2D games more than the 3D ones, but Odyssey is on another level. It's the most expansive and innovative 3D Mario Avenger yet. All of the game worlds were fun to play with plenty of secrets to find. Something else that worked well in this game that I didn't see coming was Mario's hat named Cappy. This hat could take control of a T-Rex or a stack of Goombas by Mario just throwing his hat onto them. Mario 64 was a good 3D game, but Odyssey has definitely took its place. And my number one pick is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, a massive gorgeous open world game full of life with a beautiful art style, the best I have ever seen and played. I've never had this much fun battling through dungeons, solving puzzles, even hunting and cooking food. Breath of the Wild redefines what an open world game could be. You can explore every inch of Hyrule where every mountain is climbable and every path leads to a new adventure. And if you don't feel like exploring the world, you can always just head straight to the castle castle for the final boss. Everything was perfect in this game. I had nothing to complain about. The battle system was the best in the series, performance was good, graphics was good. This is clearly the best Zelda game of all time. No, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. This is the best video game of all time, period. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and also make sure to let me know if you agree with me or disagree with me in the comments below. Either way, we all good and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.